Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 2. In this session, we'll be looking at measures, shape and space, specifically calculating using compound measures, including speed, density and rates of pay. We'll be looking at speed first. Speed is a measurement of time taken to travel a certain distance. The standard units of measurement are miles per hour, kilometers an hour, and meters per second. Speed, distance, and time are related by the following equations. Speed equals distance divided by time. Distance equals speed times time. And time equals distance divided by speed. And if you look in this diagram, you can see very clearly how they all relate to each other. Let's look at calculating speed. Sarah runs six kilometers in 30 minutes. What is her speed in kilometers per hour? So you've been asked for the speed in kilometers per hour. However, the time is given in minutes. So first we need to convert from minutes to hours. So 30 minutes is half an hour or 0.5 hours. Now work out the speed using the formula speed equals distance divided by time. So that's six divided by 0 0.5, which gives us 12 kilometers per hour. A train is moving at a speed of 20 meters per second. How much time does it take for the train to travel 80 meters? Now time equals distance divided by speed. So 80 divided by 20 equals four seconds. How far does the train travel in nine seconds? Well, distance equals speed times time. So 20 times nine equals 180 meters. Let's look at an example question you would get in an exam. You're planning the delivery of furniture to two customers. You expect that you will drive at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Unloading each delivery will take 30 minutes. And this is the route that you will take. You leave the depot at 8 a.m. What time would you return to the depot if everything went to plan? Remember, you need to show you're working out and write the answer in the box below. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a good answer in the question, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? The answer is 3 p.m. Now there are three marks in this question, so you need to show you're working out in order to get the full three marks. Calculating the total number of miles traveled, then calculating the total hours traveled, and calculating the time you would arrive back at the depot. Let's look at density now. Density measures the relationship between the mass and volume of an object. The units used for density are usually kilograms per cubic meter and grams per cubic centimeter. Density, mass and volume are all related by the following equations. So density equals mass divided by volume, mass equals density times volume, and volume equals mass divided by density. And if you look in this diagram, you can see quite clearly how they all relate to each other. Let's look at calculating density now. Mark puts a measuring jug on top of some weighing scales and sets the scales to zero. He then pours water into the jug. What is the density to two decimal places of the water? There's 25 millimeters, which is 25 cubic centimeters of water, and it weighs 19.41 grams. So we use the formula density equals mass divided by volume. So 19.41 divided by 25 equals 0 0.7764 or 0 0.78 grams per cubic centimeter. Now you need to note here that if the volume provided is in cubic centimeters, always check whether the answer is requiring cubic centimeters or cubic meters and make sure you do it correctly. Let's look at rates of pay. The rate of pay is the cost of something 
per unit of time. For example, a phone call may cost 23 pence per minute, or someone might get paid 11 to 75 per hour. Questions will often require you to combine a rate of pay with a fixed fee or combine two different rates of pay. So here's an example. Mark earns 13.50 per hour and works 38 hours per week. In addition, he earned 42 pound in tips for that week. How much did he earn in the week? Well, step one would be to calculate how much he earns from his hourly rate. So that's 38 times 13. 0.5. And that answer is £513. We now then need to calculate his total earnings for the week. So that's 513 plus 42 equals £555. Now let's look at an example question you might get on an exam. So the table below shows how much high field ground maintenance pays its staff. And you can see there there's three different rates. Last week you worked seven and a half hours each day on Monday to Friday, four hours on Saturday and three hours on Sunday. The hourly rate is £8.90. Each week your employer deducts 20% to pay for your tax. How much did you earn last week after tax? And you need to show you're working out for this answer. So pause the video again, have a go at answering the question including your workings out, and then press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? The answer is £345.32. Now there are six marks for this question, so you need to cover each stage of the calculation in order to get the full six marks and make sure you write those down. First, you need to calculate the wage Monday to Friday. Second, you need to calculate the Saturday rate. Third, you need to calculate the Sunday rate. And fourth, you need to calculate the wage before tax for all seven days. Then you need to calculate 20% of the tax reduction and then calculate the total wage after the 20% tax reduction. So let's recap now. To calculate speed, distance and time, remember the following. Speed equals distance divided by time. Distance equals speed times time. Time equals distance divided by speed. To calculate density, remember the following. Density equals mass divided by volume. And finally, the rate of pay is the cost of something per unit of time. Thank you for participating and I'll see you on the next session.